I think the world usually will pay you if you solve a problem and, and sometimes the problems don't have to be as big as, as we think. In, in our case what we do is we make people happy, we provide entertainment, we, we give you perspective of relaxation. My name is Eugene Bogo. I'm 33 years old now I think. I grew up in very many places in, in, in Kenya. I went to a few schools and then eventually went to university in, uh, in USIU, studied television production. Um, and I got my first TV show on, uh, on a national station in 2013, that was a show Young Rich. And since then we've just basically ploughed back and uh, reinvested in the business and now we have almost 18 TV shows. We are a team of uh, close to 50 people uh, that is full-time working on different productions. And what happens is they produce the shows concurrently. So in any given week we are shooting at least five different TV shows at the same time. Uh, I run a company called DNR Studios. We produce television shows and audiovisual uh, content. Uh, we produce a bunch of different shows, Young Rich, Get in the Kitchen, Foods of Kenya, Story Ango, A Perfect Wedding, Soul Family, This Love, Kialo Culture with Peter Chalo and the Sisters. I say people don't know that we are very, very different people. We're not alike. No, we're not alike. 100%. We're not alike. They don't know how much we fight and how much we disagree. The reason I think the public like us together is because we're just a nice cocktail of deliciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my friend, Mr. Doug Mutai! No! Yeah. We produce another show now called Comedy Riot. The Comedy Riot. The comedy the comedy riot. riot. So, that lots of people are asking, why did you call the Comedy Riot for the event? So, it's actually a recording we're shooting for a uh, you know, streaming platform. But um, the riot, the event itself is called the Comedy Riot because, you know, this is the riot from you know, having a riot. Have you ever been having fun with your friends? You have so much fun, it feels wrong. <laughs> That's what the Comedy Riot is about. It's just like, oh, it was so much wild last night. We had a good time. Uh, and that's why we're doing the Comedy Riot like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. What a good looking crowd here tonight. I'm dark, I'm hot, I'm, I'm even funny sometimes. I'm everything I want in a man, you know. I will be headlining. Oh, wow. Yes, which is incredible. I think the first one I got an opportunity to host, which was incredibly fun. We had a really amazing crowd. And that was, but like when you host, you kind of have to get in there and get out because you're just warming up the crowd to make sure that the next comic coming in like yeah. gets a really good momentum with the crowd. So, but when you're headlining, you have like a bit of a longer set. You have to get into the audience with it, and I think I'm very excited for that. My ex-girlfriend used to cheat a lot, and sometimes I'd accompany her <laughs> just to go on a trap with these guys. Uh, so we're filming four more episodes this coming Saturday at Brayburn. It's pure stand-up comedy. What is different about it is you have a celebrity in introducing each of the headliners mm -hmm. and then you have someone coming up and doing maybe about uh, seven minutes of, of stand-up comedy. Then the, the feature comes on and does about 10 minutes of stand-up comedy and then you have the headliner who goes all the, all the way between 15 and 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's very well thought out uh, humor. It's been practiced in many places before it worked. The pandemic dealt us a big blow. We lost everything twice. Um, when the first lockdown happened, most of our TV shows were cancelled because a lot of our TV shows have to do with eventing, you know, the wedding shows. We had travel shows, we had food shows. Uh, all of this had to do with people and going out. So as soon as the lockdown happened, you know, weddings were cancelled immediately, if you remember, so we lost those TV shows. Uh, we had travel shows, some on KTN here, actually, Foods of Kenya. As soon as Nairobi was locked down, poof, that went away. Um, we lost most, lots of our, most of our contracts weren't the pool uh, we had signed with couldn't pay. Um, so 2020 was, a, was extremely, extremely difficult. We lost almost everything. Um, it started to rebuild again. So for the most part, the genres we've done before have been documentary and reality, but we are looking at diversifying that into, into other formats. Also, you know, because the internet is big now, um, and the, format, the formats that work online are not necessarily the ones that work on linear television. So we're looking at how can we make shorter form content that's more quicker to produce, more, more quick to put out. Uh, yeah, we're we diversifying quite a bit. I currently see that you're working on, you're producing the Nairobi, um, Real Housewives of Nairobi. It's set to air, I think, 2023. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. It's going to be on show, not Real Houses of Nairobi. Uh, it's a big, big format, uh, NBC Universal, international levels of doing almost everything. Very tasking project, but uh, yeah, we're very excited about that. We start uh, actually in story development and stuff like this from tomorrow.
Award? I think all the top awards at the beginning, that is uh, Business Daily Top 40 Under 40 Men, which is in 2014, then Forbes Most Promising Entrepreneurs Under the Age of 30, that was uh, 2016, and then Top 30 Under 30 in 2017. I think almost all of them have to do with the show Young Rich. Because uh, what Young Rich did is it used to profile these young Kenyan entrepreneurs between the ages of 18 all the way to about 40 and the businesses they were doing. And it was a very impactful show because it got a lot of people into entrepreneurship. It also, it also cast a light to a lot of people who are doing amazing stuff. Some con men as well, but mostly uh, guys who are doing really, really good stuff. The, the bigger the problem you solve, the, the more you, the world will reward you for it. So in our case, it's usually uh, how many people are interested in what you're producing for them to watch, how many of them enjoy watching your shows. Um, so in terms of fulfillment, yeah, it's, I like to go to bed knowing that I did well. Uh, and sometimes doing well is just did I do enough? Did I uh, exert myself as much as I could? Did I um, provide value for my stakeholders? That's, you know, the team members here, the audience, the, um, uh, the investors of the business. Um, and then often if the answer is no for a long enough time, I know I have to change something. Um, so far I'm doing okay. Uh, I go to bed quite happy a lot of nights. Yeah. Uh, but then also just constantly exerting yourself, constantly just trying to improve, do better than you did yesterday.